I, Shweta Singh, Assistant Professor in Biani Girls College, welcome you all on behalf of GuruKPO.com. The topic on which I am going to present my lecture is about the nucleic acids and about various types, what are these nucleic acids and where they are present and what are their functions. So, the nucleic acids are mainly responsible for the life of an organism. It can be anything, it can be a prokaryote, it can be a eukaryote. If the nucleic acid is not present, we can't say that a particular organism is, is uh, bringing back to the life. So, nucleic acids are most important for life or for the survival. So, the term the nucleic acid, it was first discovered by Frederick Mescher and he gave it a term, he gave it a name which is called as nuclein. First of all, that was a, a primitive name that he was given and he called it as a nuclein. Later on, the name was changed as the nucleic acid by Altman and then the nucleic acid the term is going on. The nucleic acids are actually the monomers of nucleic acids. Various nucleotides, they will form nucleic acid. These nucleotides, they can be, they can be A, G, C, T. A stands for adenine, G stands for guanine, C stands for cytosine and T stands for thymine. And also uracil, these all are the nucleotides which will form nucleic acid. Then, there are various proteins which are associated with the nucleic acid. So, combined we call it as nucleoproteins. Nucleoproteins are mainly responsible for the synthesis of lot number of proteins that can be helpful in the formation of this nucleic acid uh, for or maybe for the further functions. Now, another important thing is that the types of nucleic acid, mainly there are two types of nucleic acid, RNA and DNA. RNA stands for ribo nucleic acid whereas DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid just because the oxygen is not present in this case that's why it is deoxy and oxygen is present in ribose sugar that's why it is called as ribose nucleic acid ribonucleic acid now talking about RNA it is chiefly present in the cytoplasm and it can be in the form free it can be in the form of ribosomes and various type of RNA, it can be tRNA, mRNA or maybe uh, types of RNA, they can be tRNA, mRNA and rRNA. mRNA is mainly responsible for the protein synthesis and then the tRNA will combine with it and then the process from the process of translation, the protein synthesis will take place. Now, talking about DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. The term was given by Wilkins and later on uh, when a lot number of discovery was done and then a proper model it was discovered by Watson and Brick in 1953. So, these are the two main types of nucleic acids. Now, we will discuss about the difference between the nucleic acid. Difference number one is that the DNA is present in the nucleus whereas the RNA is mainly concentrated in the cytoplasm first difference. Second difference is that the DNA is double stranded structure helically wound with the hydrogen bonds and various nucleotides they are present and uh, it runs clockwise to the central axis. Then RNA it is single stranded structure. Third point most important point is that the sugar molecule is deoxyribose in DNA whereas it is ribose sugar is present in case of RNA. Again, the type of nucleic acids which are present A, G, C and T, adenine, guanine, cytosine and thymine. Whereas, this thymine is replaced by U or uracil in case of RNA. Point number 5, purines and pyrimidines are equal proportion, are in equal proportion means purines like A and G will be equal to pyrimidines C and T. Or you can say A plus G will be equal to C plus G. This is a rule of DNA. But it is not applicable in case of RNA. So it is not necessary that they will be in proportion. Point number C that DNA is known for the genetic behavior. However, RNA is mainly known for the protein synthesis, which is the most important function of the cell survival. Then, point number seven the base 
composition in the DNA is A by T is equal to G by C is equal to 1. This is the rule, but this rule is not applicable in case of RNA. So, these are the main basic difference between DNA and RNA. For knowing about this structure, for knowing about further information, you can log on to our website www.gurukpo.com. Thank you.